Hi guys, I'm Justin Z. I'm Zero Kazama. And I brought Mr. Kazama in today so he can take a look at the poster I've been making for him so he can give me some notes and some improvements. Basically, I'm just gonna tell him that it sucks. I don't get paid enough for this. Okay guys, so Zero is here to take a look at the poster and I wanted to make sure I recorded this and share it with you guys so you can get a good idea of what to expect when working with a client. Basically what he's gonna do is point out the things that need changing or improvement and I will do the best I can to cater to his wishes. How about it, Z? Okay, the first thing we need to correct is the eye isn't supposed to be just uh, red. The entirety of it's supposed to be chrome. Because it's not so much like a contact lens. It's, uh, the character's got his eye completely removed in a fight, and it's uh, replaced with a steel cybernetic one. Okay, so like the entire eye, even the whites? Yeah, the entire eye, even the whites. I mean, the white's not even there. I mean, he's got his eye cut off, and they just replaced it with a cert like a steel one that runs battle calculations and whatnot. So when you, when you say calculations, do you want that visualized as well? Uh, maybe, yeah, straight across the eye. I don't even think of where like the retina begins and ends and all that kind of stuff, just like straight across the eye. So like information going horizontally across the eye? Yeah, I think something like in the terms of like the matrix where it's information running down, but it would be, um, you know, horizontal ra rather than vertical. Okay, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. What's next? Also, uh, everybody's been walking in the desert wastelands for a bit, and Corey still seems a bit, uh, opaque. Pale? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we probably need to touch up his skin tone a little bit so he doesn't look like he's been walking around with an umbrella the whole time. Okay. Mm. Uh, he's also got a little lip piercing there. Is that all right to stay? or do Yeah, you that's me? fine. You can stay? Yeah. Okay, cool. Unless it zooms out and it looks like something else. Um... Does it? No, that's mm. fine. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, so let's see, what about, uh, I know you were mentioned something about the zombies. Yeah, they kind of look like shrubbery. <laughs> okay. At a distance, so if we can maybe have uh, them, like maybe just a few more close-ups so we can visually tell that they're zombies and then people can look a little bit closer and be like, oh, they're not just shrubs or trees in the desert, they're actually zombies. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what else we got? It looks like they're standing on glass. Glass? Yeah, the ground's way too shiny. Okay. Yeah, they, it doesn't even look like asphalt. It looks like they're standing on, like, onyx or something. Okay, so, so the pavement looks distracting. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be matted up just a little bit. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Or quite a bit, actually. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can do that, definitely. Just needs to be darkened and a couple yeah. other things. No problem. What else we got? Um... Everything's too in focus. I would say even the city looks like it's in better focus than the people in the foreground. So we could get a bit more depth of field and just a more uh, like special awareness if you could soften up like the city in the back. So the, so the city's a little too uh, detailed. Yeah, it's just... a little bit too detailed. And if you zoom in, you can see the photoshopping details a little bit too much. So if you put a little bit of grain or just something to make it a little bit more out of focus, I think uh, the distance will be... Uh, better calibrated by everybody that's looking at it. Okay, cool. All right. And what else we got? I can't even see the tagline. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> On first glance, yeah. Okay. Well, I was trying to go for a color that would match with the title, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you can't see it, you can't see it. Yeah, maybe uh, just something that's in the same uh, color as the title and maybe like some kind of design on the left and right. You to know, kind maybe of... a couple bars just like to put like some more emphasis on it. Okay, so like a little bit of graphic around the sides. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can do that. That's definitely doable. Um, what works for you in the poster? What's good for you? I really do like how, uh, how you played with uh, Tomiko's like, colors, everybody else's uh, clothes. I know like Robbie came in with really clean gear, and he looks like he's been in like a mess. Um, yeah, I love what you've done with the sword. Just, to, just you know, I don't know if uh, everybody's followed up the videos up until now, but uh, my sword doesn't have any of that uh, katana-style wrapping on it, and I think you did a really good job making that. Good. And, yeah, I dig the, um, the tube going up into the arm, and, yeah, I, I love how twat haters just a little <laughs> drawn in there. I wanted to make sure it was at least somewhat subtle so people had to look at the poster to yeah, actually yeah. see it. Like, what does that say? Oh. <laughs> So, cool. All right, and the scar's okay? Is there anything you want a bigger or more detail or more to it? It's like a single claw going down, so I figured that would be all right. I can always make it three or four for an actual hand clawing your face off or whatever. No, I was thinking it was more like a sword that didn't, that didn't get deflected. 
Okay. So, yeah. So that works. Yeah, it works um, essentially with like a cut like this. It would go straight up and down. So the scar would go like straight across through the eyebrow. But I don't know if that's uh, possible or it would just not look right. Eyebrow is a very difficult thing to do. I yeah. can certainly try. Um, but uh, it, it definitely, when I was going through tutorials, eyebrow is one of the toughest things because you'd have to mask skin. Yeah. Uh, from another part and skin over the under the eyebrow is entirely different from around the eyebrow mm -hmm. So but I'll try I mean I'll give it a try and see yeah. what I can do um, it Really looks pretty awesome. Oh good really. good. I'm glad All right, so basically the changes zeros asked for is he wants the tagline to be much more visible uh, The asphalt under their feet looks really distracting uh, He wants a chrome eye the city needs softening the zombies need to look more real and Corey seems a little too pale compared to the rest Does seem right yeah, I think you've covered everything. That's about it, man. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Zero, for coming in. No, thank you very much. Yeah, and I'll get you the final product, and uh, we'll get you on your way and get your movie made. All right, sweet. You. Thanks for watching, guys. Check the annotations at the end of this video for the next tutorials based on uh, Zero's requests. And please be sure to rate, comment, subscribe below, and send any requests of your own to requests at mahalo.com.